probably the transferable skills that you develop that you don't think about. So the presentation skills, the report writing skills, um, and everything that goes with it in between. So even walking into a room and, and talking to people, I think you get those sorts of skills as well. How to learn? Oh, some professional skills. It's, it's a bit of a cliche, but the old ability to learn and. Uh, how to educate yourself. And actually, I think I learned how to read on this course. I, I wasn't a big reader before, so I, I, think, I think learning how to digest the book. I'm doing an internship at the moment um, in HR, Human Resources at the University, um, before I do an MSc in Finance and Accounting. Two year graduate programme, so I don't know whether I'll carry on with that afterwards or maybe come back into academia. I think it's quite open. I do, I have got a permanent job. I do. I do, yes. I do indeed. In fact, I believe that in our year, out of I believe two people haven't yet got jobs, everybody else has managed to secure jobs. So it's uh, over 90% job rate, which is pretty good. Um, BAE system was. Uh, Capital One, working in their IT department. I've been accepted into Riverside Automation as a control engineer. Aero engine controls, which are half owned by Rolls Royce, making control systems for jet engines. Uh, with Petronas, oil and gas company, uh, the national oil and gas company of Malaysia. Without this, I couldn't have got a job. It, it has completely been uh, the basis on which I sold myself and managed to end up in the position I have. But it can be quite a difficult area to get into. And uh, the thing with this department is it's the only department, in the, the biggest department in the country dedicated to control engineering. So you've got a much better chance of getting into things like that. Whereas if you do an electronic engineering degree and specialise in control, it might not be seen quite as well. I think the materials, uh, the thing we learned is very much uh, uh, the thing that they are looking for, like uh, students uh, with technical abilities as well as like leadership qualities and stuff like that. Uh, students who have confidence to uh, be a leader, to lead a team. Uh, and be confident of his or her own judgment. I think just because, of, again, because of the transferable skills, you can go to interview and say, I can do this or I can do that. And you, you have plenty of um, examples to give at the time of, of where the degree course has set you up for, for that kind of position. Yeah, she's, she's, she's matured very well. She was living on her own. And I know she had a lot of time to study. Yeah, she's just come of age. She can hold her own anywhere. And that we're really very proud of her. Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's grown up a lot more, hasn't he? Uh, matured over the last sort of four years, really. But it shows in his results because his grades have just progressively got better and better over the four years, hasn't it? And, um, the final year, he's just nailed it really, hasn't he? Changed. So, yeah, we're really pleased. Oh, yeah, I'm very well prepared she is now. Definitely, yeah. He was, um, he was very lucky to get the first job that he applied for, um, and he's had this offer of a job for a couple of months before he even graduated, so we were really relieved that he was. Uh, the way things are at the moment with graduates not being able to get jobs, we were really proud of him.